Hi, I'm Kate Ward and this is your Dickman Farms Smart Gardening Tip and today we're demystifying hydrangeas. So um, that's one of the biggest questions that we have is which hydrangeas, where do I put it, when do I trim it? So I'm going to start with the last part first. When do you trim it? In the spring. Otherwise, don't touch it. That way you won't get in trouble, okay? So I'm going to show you this time of year, which is May, your hydrangeas probably look something like this. They may not even be this far along. They might be just like this, where you see these tiny little green bits coming out. So this is old wood. This is, oops, that's one less piece. Um, this is the wood from last year, okay? This grew last year, hardened off, and this is what sat on this plant over the winter. Now I can see these are little buds here. They didn't make it back. So now that I can see what's growing, I can see what didn't make it. So I can just snip and clean them up if I want to. All right, so that's how you know when to trim your hydrangeas. You do it in the spring. That way you don't get in trouble, whether it's a spring blooming variety, a re-blooming variety, is it an old wood variety, doesn't matter. Don't trim it till spring. So that said, let me tell you a little about, it, about the different kinds. So plants have, for lack of a better phrase, first and last names. So like me, I'm Kate Ward. This is, well, this is all hydrangea. So this is hydrangea macrophylla. Macrophylla is, is going to be its last name. So these are large flowered varieties. They get these big ball shaped flowers and they come generally in pink, purplish or blue depending on the soil's pH. So if you have a basic soil, it's going to be pink. If you have an acidic soil, it's going to be blue. So if you ever go down and visit Martha's Vineyard, you see all those hydrangeas in bloom and they're bright blue. That's because they have a very acidic soil. And we do have stuff that we can put on the soil to make them change. You just have to be good about it. But around here, if you don't do anything, we tend to have pink. Now some of these are also white. They're always gonna be white, can't change it, sorry. So these are your macrophyllas. Another group we have here is last name paniculata, hydrangea paniculata. And the paniculata varieties have big flowers generally. They're sort of cone shaped and they show up in bloom mid to late summer generally. Bigger plants than the macrophyllas, so paniculatas can be quite large. Uh, the dwarf varieties still get up to four feet and the big ones can get up to 12, though you can trim them all to maintain them if you want. So that said, you get these big, big flowers, generally white or pink. You can't do anything about the pH of the soil and affect the flowers. They're either gonna be white or pink. This is arborescence. Now, the old standby that you heard, Annabelle hydrangeas, some of you may know that. Annabelle hydrangeas has been around tried and true. Um, see it on very um, old homes, classic homes. You see Annabelle's quite a bit. They're beautiful, stately plants. And that's who this is. White ball, perfectly round, big ball flowers. In fact, this is incredible ball because this flower, when it gets established, can get as big as a soccer ball. It's the coolest thing ever. Over here, we have hydrangea last name Quercifolia, because its leaf, as you can see here, is like an oak leaf. So that's why it's named. Its common name is the oak leaf hydrangea. This gets, again, sort of a cone-shaped flower, but it's distinctive by its leaf pattern. And then the last in my group that I have here is hydrangea petiolaris. It's my climbing hydrangea. And you can see here we have a large piece, and it can grow in part sun, as a matter of fact, they all prefer part sun if they can have it. However, paniculata and arborescence, so my um, two big guys right here in the front, they can both tolerate full sun, and they do so gracefully. You can put this type in some sun, like out in the garden, but you don't want it to be super hot because it'll, it'll dog ear. Its leaves will droop like they're sad in the middle of summer, and it doesn't necessarily mean it's dry. It's just too hot for it. This here likes part sun. It'll be happy in part sun. You'll get sunburn on it if it gets too much. And this guy's also in part sun. So I hope that helps you demystify them. Remember, stay away from trimming them. You won't run into any problems with cutting off flowers. And to change the soil pH, upper or lower, get you the flower color change on this guy. We'll show you how. I have tons of varieties. They're all beautiful. They're all in. They're all looking great. I'd love to see you. We'll see you soon. It's been your Dickman Farms Smart Gardening Tip.